We have our CRM project. CRM is a, an IT system that helps marketing, sales and support to enter and to follow customer relations. For that, we are going through usual phases, which are um, system requirements, uh, solutions, uh, evaluation, then a decision, and then the system purchase, and then an installation, and then the installation of the application by itself, and then a test phase, and in the end, an in-production. In our project here, we started this in early December, and we want it to be ready by the 1st of February. We have entered all the tasks, we have optimized, we have introduced margins. You can see there is one margin here. You can see that there is also another margin here. There are no overutilizations of resources. We have set the baseline, so the project has started now. We are now going to track what's going on in this project. So for this, how do we do that? So we are first going to set the date by which we want to see the situation in the project. So I select project and you see here there is a status date. So I'm going to select it and to say the status I want to see is the one by the 21st of December. Okay. This was now the first thing I could set into this um, project tracking. We are going to review now the, the different tasks. And to do that, we can go on to tasks. And we are going to say, OK, the project proposal has been done. It has been done on time. So I'm going to use here what is called the schedule group within uh, the task tag. So I say, OK, it has been completed to 100%. So this is done. Next one, project approval didn't need any time. So it was just a milestone. So I don't have to do anything. There was a planning session here. So the planning session, of course, is also achieved by 100%. We had here um, the requirements where we can say also that it has been completed to 100%. What you see here, it's every time that the process or a task is completed, you see in there comes a gray bar across the task, showing you that this one is completed. I will at the same time act on the project review, the first one, and to say OK that one as well was completed. We want to mark the rest of the project up to the 21st as being completed. So in order to do that, I can directly go to project. And as you remember, we've just set the status date of the 21st December. And here below we have a situation where we can update the project, the progress information. We can update and you see again here, you can give the status date being the 21st December and we can set it to zero or 100% and we will define it update work as complete through and we'll do that for the entire project. So we click here OK and what happened is that you see that there is a light dark bar through the tasks here up to the 21st and you see that all the tasks that were remaining till the 21st have been set as complete this was one way and is one way to do it in a fast way when everything is just fine in our project we've already tracked the beginning of the project. We can see here that most of the tasks have been followed and have been closed with 100% completed. 
In this project, it's the installation of a CRM system. We are now entering a phase where we need the IT people to install the system by itself. The IT people decided then to start it earlier because they wanted to use that opportunity to introduce a new operating system. So we see here, we have a task which is the server installation in itself. Uh, once the server will be installed, there is another task here which is uh, the application installation. If we look at the follow-up on the project, we'll see that uh, we have here a space which is a margin and here we have other tasks will be test before in production setting and uh, the functional tests. So what happened in reality it's that they decided to start earlier but unfortunately as it happened several times it's that they started earlier and they took all the time and it even needed longer before to to finish so we'll record that event and we'll record the situation so to do that i select the task in itself and i go here up to mark on the track using the arrow which is on the side here i will update the task you see here that it's the task server installation completed 0% actual duration 0 day remaining 2 days so what I'm going to enter here is that in reality they started earlier so instead of starting the 2nd of January they've started already in December which was the, the 30th and of course as it happens they couldn't finish it on time so they needed more time so we'll see that actually they finished in January by the 10th of January. Okay, so this I've entered it into what is called the actual day start date and the actual finish date. So we'll look what happens on the di diagram now. As we had expected, we have here the task which has been started earlier use this time plus an additional week here what is interesting to see it's that the tracking since we had the baseline we see here in gray the situation as we had planned it and here in blue it's how it went on so of course the task which is installation of the application itself since it has a dependency on finishing the previous tasks we see that it has been moved here in the space that was a margin at that time. What is interesting is also that this task, you see that this is in gray again, how it was planned. And now it has been moved by one week, which is the actual situation. What is also interesting is that the color of the task is now red, meaning that it is now on the critical path. Before, there was a margin, and any task which has a margin is not within the critical path. So we see that the other tasks that were critical paths, they remain the critical path. So we are in a situation where all the margin we had <coughs> was eaten up by one task. And for that reason, the following task is now on the critical path. So far, so good. See you soon.